In the 20 year long history of Trackmania games, the developers have almost never placed restrictions on how the games should be played. Even though many maps are broken due to shortcuts, Nadeo have stayed out of it and allowed players the freedom to compete for world records through the use of bugs and glitches. But in April of 2014, a Trackmania player discovered a bug so powerful that Nadeo had to intervene. The bug could potentially break all the maps in Trackmania 2 and fundamentally change the way the game was played. That bug, as hilarious as it sounds, was to drive the car backwards. Two and a half year after its release, Mario A9 has discovered that it's actually faster to drive backwards in Trackmania 2 Canyon. As seen in the footage, Mario A9 is demonstrating this by beating a world record on a newly released ESL tournament map. A very interesting discovery, to say the least. On the 6th of April 2014, Germany were set to play a tournament match against North America in Trackmania 2 Canyon. The Germans, punctual as ever, showed up on time but their opponents were late for the match. Bored and waiting for the opponents to show up, the player Marius89 started driving backwards for fun when he noticed that it was actually surprisingly fast. After their match concluded, Marius wanted to experiment more, so him and his teammates went on an online server to try it out. What he discovered is that for whatever reason, the acceleration when driving backwards was absurdly high. Eventually, you accelerate so much that the car becomes near impossible to control. At this point, any steering movement stronger than 10% will cause the car to slide out, either making you crash or lose all of your speed. Maintaining full grip through turns and jumps on technical canyon tracks required surgical precision. But Marius had a clever idea to make it a bit easier. By using a tool called DX Tweak, he could limit the steering range of his controller so that if he moved the analog stick all the way to the side, it would only produce 25% steering. This gave him the benefit of having much more precision, with the disadvantage of never being able to steer more than 25%. But for backwards driving, that was exactly what he was after. That day, Marius89 beat a world record lap on a competitive canyon track by driving backwards. The reactions from the other players were mixed finding it both amazing and terrifying at the same time, realizing the destruction this could cause. Backwards driving wasn't just a situational trick that would work on a handful of maps. This could fundamentally change how Trackmania 2 Canyon was played. Over the next days, Marius managed to break several other prestigious canyon records by driving backwards, but the time gains weren't exactly crazy. He always lost a lot of time turning around in the start, and often barely regain the lead again before the finish line. Marius wanted to know just how much faster backwards driving could be under ideal conditions, and started looking for the perfect map for a backwards speed one. A map where he could build up a ton of speed and preserve it for a long time, and one where he wouldn't lose time turning around in the start. And he found it in another game. This is arguably the best track for backwards driving, Valley A05. Since the layout of this track is a circle, you could just drive the entire track in reverse and forego the time loss of turning around in the start. And since the track limits are wide, you would be able to accumulate a ton of speed throughout all three laps of the race. How much time could backwards driving save on a track like this? Marius's run started innocuously, as he immediately had to climb up a big hill, not getting the chance to accelerate much in the first 10 seconds. Not long after, he crossed paths with the world record ghost, which was already on its way to complete the first lap about 3 seconds ahead. But this is also where the compounding effect began, and the acceleration of the backwards driving truly kicked in. By the end of lap 2, Marius was well ahead of the record, and he had yet to drive his fastest lap on the track. At this velocity, any sudden steering movement will make the car slide out, but Marius managed to hold the precision. He kept full grip and accelerated all the way until the finish line, crossing it with a 47.81, over 6 seconds faster than the world record. 
which in Trackmania, where players compete for milliseconds, is a ridiculous margin. Last week I reported about it being faster to drive backwards in Canyon, but it turns out it's also faster in Valley. As seen in this video made by Android, it seems to be just as effective as it is in Canyon. However, it looks like this backward driving will not last for long, as in the next Mania Planet update it apparently will be fixed. Marius had proved how ridiculously overpowered backwards driving could be. The developers at Nadeo, who had previously stomached bugs being used to gain time, knew they had to do something. No racing game can be taken seriously if the most optimal strategy is to turn around and start driving backwards. In a forum post, Nadeo stated that the bug would be fixed with the release of Mania Planet 3, in the end of April 2014. But when the patch finally came out, it seemed like that was that. Nadeo had completely gutted the car's backwards acceleration, both in Canyon and in Valley. Not only did the car accelerate slower backwards, but once you reached 250 speed, it completely stopped accelerating further. You could at least still drive the car backwards, but trying to gain time with it was a lost cause. For a while after the patch, nothing more really happened. People had come to accept that the days of backwards driving being faster were over, and were now just another page in the Trekmania history books. Five years would come and go until in 2019, something very interesting happened. Marius89 was again playing Trackmania 2 Valley on an online server, when he turned around the car on a jump and started driving backwards just for fun. I was on the server, normal driving, then uh, I thought in a jump, hey, let's uh, turn the car 180. And I believe I landed then backwards, but I was still keeping the acceleration button, not brake. What I saw is that the speed that you have is absolutely stable, but once you steer, you gain speed. On the jump, Marius noticed that his car would perfectly preserve the exact speed he landed with, since it no longer had any powerful backwards acceleration. But weirdly enough, as soon as he started steering, his speed increased. Marius would then go on to create a map with this as a premise. A map where if one turned around on a jump and drove backwards, it would be somewhat competitive against forwards drivers. It was a fun concept, but it didn't seem like this trick could be applied anywhere else. One year later, Nadeo announced their brand new Trackmania game, Trackmania 2020. The release date was set for the 1st of July 2020, and most players were rushing to complete their big project in the older games before that. Marius had teamed up with the player Lars to build a massive map called Valley Parkour. The theme of the map was to feature every unique trick in Trackmania Valley that they could think of. One of those tricks being backwards driving. Lars and Marius wanted to create a checkpoint where backwards driving would be faster, as an homage to the absurd discovery all those years ago. What they noticed was the same pattern that Marius had come across one year earlier, that turning when driving backwards gained speed. They theorize that the reason for this is because in forwards gameplay, Nadeo made it so that acceleration decreases whenever you steer. But what the developers overlooked is that on the flip side, this then increases your acceleration if you steer when driving backwards. If you wiggled back and forth in a straight line, the car would build up a ridiculous amount of speed. Uh, uh. Ah, we're 400, man! Ha! Ah, it's so fast! What the fuck is happening? <laughs> Holy shit! It was immediately obvious to them that the wiggle trick was more than just a checkpoint on a trial map. It had the potential to break world records. And they had no time to waste. Lars immediately went back to where it all began, on Valley A05, six years after the first backwards runs, and he started wiggling as much as he could.
Incredibly enough, this trick had been hiding dormant ever since the update in 2014, and it took them 6 years to rediscover it. But that night, Lars obliterated the world record with a 50.41, 3 seconds faster than forward driving. The community's reaction the following morning were again mixed. Some were dumbfounded at the absurdity of a wiggling backwards car destroying prized world records. The AO5 world record was broken several times, and for the first time, without the use of DX Tweak. The player's La Martifis managed to do it on a joystick, without limiting the steering range of the device. Some days later, BO5, another multilap track, was also beaten by the backward strategy, by almost 12 seconds. Some parts of the community looked to Nadeo to take action. But Nadeo were working on the release of Trackmania 2020, and they weren't going to spend resources on fixing a 7 year old game. One of the main arguments against driving backwards was that it would ruin the fairness of competition. That backwards driving is too far, and a potential threat for many other records. Especially when you keep in mind that this is not doable for keyboard players whatsoever. I'm personally vouching for a fix and a deletion of all impacted records. Despite the call to action by the fairest competitor out there, Nadeo didn't end up patching anything, and they let the players figure it out amongst themselves. Most of the top players who stuck around in Valley came to an agreement to not use the backwards trick, as to not ruin further records. But since it existed within the game and was possible without third party tools, and Nadeo wasn't going to patch it, it was just a matter of time before someone explored it further. In 2022, the player Crip discovered that more maps than ever could be broken backwards. Up until then, the maps that had been broken were driven entirely in reverse. This is mainly because players adjusted their steering range to 20% in DX Tweak. Therefore, they couldn't turn normally beforehand. Crip was able to get around this by playing the first half of his run on a keyboard. And then when he reached a part that could be faster backwards, he switched to a controller to do the smooth inputs required. In most racing games, steering wheel is the clear best option for an input device. But in Trackmania 2 Valley, with this laughably powerful bug, the most optimal setup is now to dual wheel the run with a keyboard and a controller that can only achieve 20% steering. As it stands, 8 maps out of 65 in the Valley campaign have been broken backwards. And as ridiculous as it is, the expectation is that backward driving will remain a part of the game now. But it's as that old saying goes. Sometimes you have to take one step backwards to go two steps forwards. And we might see even more world records with this in the future. If you enjoyed this video, then please subscribe to the channel as we are getting closer and closer to 1 million. Thank you so much to all the patrons for supporting my content, and until next time, have a good one.